Um, but yes, thank you so much for sharing that, Miss White. And those are a few of my favorite verses as well. Just really taking authority over our thought life is so important and really has a lot to do with our identity. Because if you think about it, we really live our lives through our mind. Like what is in our head is how we're gonna feel. How we're gonna feel is how we're gonna act. And that impacts what's gonna come out of our mouths, how we'll carry ourselves, and just how our overall lives will be lived. And um, that's why we really have to just surrender ourselves to the Lord each day and ask the Holy Spirit, you know, Lord, just take control of my thoughts. I thank you that I will have your thoughts today and just really put on the helmet of salvation. And um, even if you, something that um, I feel like will help a lot of y'all is just Googling verses on conquering the mind or verses on, on how to have a sound mind and write them on post-it notes, write them on um, index cards, you know, get creative with it. Draw some fun stuff if you if you like to do that. Um, but put them somewhere where you'll see it. And the more you see it, you'll end up memorizing it. And then the second those negative thoughts come, you can smash it down and end it right there before it even gets to really get to you. Um, and this is something really personal to me. Like when I was in middle school, I'm in high school now, but when I was in middle school, I really dealt with a hard time with um, my thought life and just what was going on in my mind. And I really had to surrender to the Lord and ask him to give me his thoughts. And I began to see myself differently. I began to see myself from how God sees me instead of just, you know, this is how other people see me. So I guess this is how I am. No, I really had to take time and look in the word of God and realize the Lord says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I will have his thoughts. Um, whatsoever things are pure, holy, just on these things will I think upon. And um, I literally, okay, this is gonna sound funny, but this is something my mom helps me with and she encouraged me to do when I was going through that time, is we made this paper sword, okay? You can laugh if you'd like. We made this paper sword about this big and we wrote Bible verses that all had to do with, you know, your mind and everything. We wrote those verses all over the sword. And so every time I would have a negative or fearful thought, I would grab that sword and I would read those verses and say, shut up to the devil, pretty much. So really practicing awesome. those things. Yeah, and, and I'm telling you, it worked. Like, it took a little bit of time, but it so worked. And those same verses that I memorized when I was back in middle school, I know today in my heart. And um, so whenever I'm faced with the trial now, it's like, okay, I'm equipped for this because I know what God's word has to say about this. Um, and yeah, it, it is honestly amazing to see God's the power of God's word. And when you really apply it to your life, it the possibilities are limitless to what God will do for you. Um, but yeah, Evie, I see your hand up.